It's the early May bank holiday. Out of St Catherine's car park on the outskirts of Winchester, vehicles of Friends of King Alfred buses, or FOCAB as they are affectionately known, and a number of other heritage buses are gathering for the Winchester buses running day. This is the first time the event has taken place in May, for previously FOCAB had held its running days on New Year's Day, and had done so for over 30 years, retracing the routes of the former King Alfred Motor Services, which ran bus services in and around Winchester for over 50 years until 1973. With over 30 vehicles running during the day, planning the timetable has taken many months. But even so, there are always a few last-minute queries. It was on, it must have been on somebody's timetable. So 10 past 9 yeah. and 9.35. Yeah. Then time arrives, the first bus sets off, and running day is underway. The day was warm and sunny, and the Winchester Broadway is soon busy with visitors queuing to enjoy the free bus rides. Oh, sorry, five. Thank you. Okay. Hi, everybody, hold tight, please. I don't realise we've got a 1931 bus. As well as routes within the city, King Alfred buses also served nearby villages. Here's a 1970 Leyland Panther en route to Crawley. And on its way to Sparsholt, a Leyland Tiger Cub purchased in 1959. At the pond in Crawley, to the accompaniment of a busy lawnmower, the ducks incubate their eggs, or at least some of them. and in Sparsholt, 104 arrives at the stop by the church.
In the Broadway, the marshals have a crucial role in supervising the schedule and helping everything to run as smoothly as possible. Not an easy task with sometimes as many as two dozen bus movements in an hour. I asked a couple who were on duty later in the afternoon for their thoughts on the day. Had it gone without a hitch? Uh, no. <laughs> no, that would be that would be a distortion. <laughs> I think it's gone as well as can be expected yes. for a different type of yeah. running day. Yes. How how does it compare with the other ones? There's probably more traffic about yes. than there would be on January the 1st, and that's had an impact, and that's impacted on the, the timetable, um, where we've struggled to get the buses around in, on time. Right. So that's a lesson to be learned, really. Have you had any actually drop out, or you yeah. have to cancel some? Yeah, a couple of, a couple of vehicles have dropped out. Sometimes we've managed to replace them. Um, we've got spare vehicles we can bring in. But uh, a lot of people. Yes. A good turnout. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's different, difficult to gauge because in your previous years it's all been concentrated here. Now it's here and then it's in Catherine. Yes. yes. One of the most popular buses, attracting long queues all day, was Robert Jarrett's 1935 Parisian bus. With FOCAB chairman James Freeman at the wheel on this occasion, it will follow the old Route 3A to Stony Lane and back. Later, I managed to get a quick word with James and ask him how he thinks the day has gone. I think it's been absolutely fine and uh, a bit of an experiment. Uh, I see it's raining now, which we weren't quite expecting, but it's kind of raining. Um, overall, I don't know what the numbers are, but it um, looks very satisfactory. Finally, as the day draws to a close, let's travel back to St Catharines on one of FOCAB's two AEC renowns. And as the tidying up begins, David Scheuer, a former King Alfred bus conductor, gives his verdict on the day. Perfection. Is it? Yeah. Perfection. Which routes have you been working Seven, on? Seven, nine, three, nineteen, uh, twenty. A good selection. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. You, brilliant. And you still enjoy it? I'd still carry on if they were about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks ever so much. You're very well. All the best. And you.